Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. And I got a vehicle going on outside. First off, I want to thank John Talks, the channel, for bringing this to my attention and to many others' attention. <clears throat> it turns out Disney has actually responded to the hashtag not my aerial people and to all the people who disagreed with them on their casting of Ariel for the live action of Little Mermaid. <clears throat> but they did it in the most cowardly way possible. You see, they didn't do it with their own Twitter. They did it with a subsidiary company. A company that is obscure for the most part called Freeform. And if you go onto free or onto Wikipedia, look up Freeform, all one word, and it will say owned by Walt Disney Studios and Walt Disney, yada yada. You honestly think that people can't put two and two together, Disney? Honestly, you're terrible. You are terrible for doing that. You are a coward and you are terrible. Anyway, John Talks may have went a little overboard with the poor unfortunate souls insult that Disney, not just Freeform, but Disney threw at us to those who disagree with the casting choice for whatever reason. Now, they say to the poor unfortunate souls, and yes, that is very insulting to potential fans and general, and generally insulting. Because you are calling people poor, unfortunate souls. Who the fuck do you think you are, Disney? You think just because you're a multi-billion dollar company, you get to get away with insulting fans like this? My gosh, man. You think you won't be called out? You're stupid. You are being called out. By me and many others. But also, the poor, unfortunate souls comment, something that John Talks didn't go over, was... this is That's a direct call back to the original Little Mermaid Disney movie. Sorry, I'm itching my arm. From Ursula. She sang a song, Poor Unfortunate Souls. Now, we all know that Ursula is also the villain in Disney's Little Mermaid. So, if you guys want to call us Poor Unfortunate Souls and take the part of Ursula, that's fine because you just basically admitted you're the villain. Disney. So, yeah. Let's go over this little open-penned letter to those who disagree with you. Yes, the original author of The Little Mermaid was Danish. Ariel, pause, is a mermaid. She lives in an underwater kingdom in international waters and can legit swim wherever she wants. Oh. Even though it often upsets... King Triton, absolute zaddy, whatever the hell that means. But for the sake of argument, let's say that Ariel, too, is Danish. Danish mermaids can be black because Danish people can be black. Ariel can sneak up to the surface at any time with her pals, Scuttle and the... <clears throat> they make a habit, or they make an emphasis on the... <clears throat> Jamaican Crab Sebastian. Sorry, Flounder! In parentheses there. And keep the bronze base tight. Or the hell that means. Black Danish people, and thus merfolk, can also genetically have red hair. But, spoiler alert, bring it back to the top. The character of Ariel is a work of fiction. There we go with the whole fiction stuff. So after all this is said and done, and you still cannot get past the idea of that choosing the incredible, comma, sensational, comma, highly talented, comma, gorgeous Halle Bailey is anything other than the INSPIRED, all caps, casting that it is because she doesn't look like the cartoon one, end quotes. Oh boy, do I have some news for you about you. Hence the poor unfortunate souls. You know what, Disney? Sit on a fucking coconut.
just make sure it has a huge ass stem when you do. You want to insult us? We'll insult you right back. You're basically the Wayland Yutani of the real world. All powerful and evil as fuck. Rated PG 13, folks. No, wait. Rated R, folks, because I used it more than once. So, yeah. You guys actually are so pathetically cowardly. Pathetically cowardice. That you gotta go to a small little obscure company that you own and insult fans that way because you're too much of a freaking coward to do it yourselves on your own Disney Twitter. So yeah, we had a difference of opinion. I didn't use the not my aerial hashtag because I thought it was silly. Um, but I do disagree with what they did. Because I believe that identity politics, when broken down to its base, con base components, is token racism. You're putting this black actress, singer, slash actress, onto a pedestal and say, pay for her entertainment. You know what they did in the 1800s during the slavery years? They put people on a pedestal and sold them for entertainment of their owners. And for labor for their owners. So yeah, Disney, you are basically doing the same thing with your identity politics. You're putting them on a pedestal and say, pay for it. So before you want to call us racist for saying that identity politics is inherently divisive and evil, you may want to look at your own practices. Anyway, that's the video. If you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Take it easy.